Hi guys, welcome back to another fun fun episode of the Nelly Hill Cooking Series. My name is Nelly and I make videos from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this week again. <laughs> so if you've seen the previous video, I am sure you know what I'm saying this week again. Yes, 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 guys. I'm still looking gorgeous as usual. <laughs> so in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to put together stuffed pie french toast how good does that sound if it's something you like to learn how to make please keep on watching i know i know you know you guys know already that i am a mother of four beautiful kids and it is paramount that i'm coming up with different recipes to tantalize your taste buds as well as their taste buds okay because children of nowadays get bored so easily with everything so with everything going on I don't even know what's going on but whatever i just want to show you guys how to put together a very delicious you can call it a snack or you can call it breakfast you can use it for tea or whatever you, you desire okay so with that one i do this video is getting so long what's going on today why am i like this well let's get started shall we okay guys so for this beautiful recipe you're going to be needing this ingredients i have here some bread slices some butter so I have butterscotch, you can use vanilla, I have sugar, cinnamon, I have milk, I have my beef stew sauce here. You guys must have seen that video before you see this one. So yeah, I have four eggs and of course my casserole dish to mix everything together. Let's get started, shall we? So without much ado, let's jump right into this cooking action. <laughs> So we're done running. Let's go ahead and pass now. Good. And then we get our filling. We just centralize it like a pie, basically. You don't want to overdo on that, just a little okay and then I'm going to fold the loop for the place where you have enough space and then cover it and close it up and then we're going to get our fork and then we start closing it like a pie and then we place it on our plate and then we continue okay yeah so first so for those at the back this is what we do i said cross to cross is a must you can do mayo right depending on your choice you can do sour cream cream cheese beautiful So I added a little bit of dill oil to add that grease and then we flip that over. Does that not look good? Oh my goodness. 
This is so creamy, so lush, so rich. Some people say, chop life before life chop you, okay? Life is too short for you to be so serious, okay? <laughs> this is so good. Mm. But, um, the beefy sauce, the beefy sauce. You guys saw how I made the sauce, so mm. the custard makes the bread so moist on the inside and outside. Mm, 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 mm. There is no going back from this recipe. This is one recipe you want to add to your repertoire of recipes. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy bringing it to you, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time with something beautiful, delicious, if quite stylish. Until then, please do remember that better is always enough. The best is always yet to come. I will see you guys next time. Keep dishing out delicious meals. Ciao. Bye.